Amari, just how challenging was Georgia's offensive line compared to the other offensive lines you've seen this year? Um, Georgia's offensive line, they're a great offensive line. They came out, they played physical, they just – they um they did a lot of things that we watched on film that they would do. We just didn't execute well today, and but they played. They had a great game. They played physical. They played together, and they're very well coached. Adam, you know, there's been talk of playoff and all that. That's obviously still possible. Where does that fit into y'all's plans or hopes of getting there? Yeah, we really just um coming in. We know. We understand all that, but we really just trying to get better next week. We know Missouri is our next game, which is our biggest game because there's a next game on the schedule. So we got to come in, watch this game film this week, just learn, see what we did wrong, learn from it, and then just continue to get better ne for next week. Eric, was that kind of the message from the leaders in the locker room, yourself included, just kind of the talk of what the players have to lose? Yes, sir. That was a message from the leaders, the coaches. They just, um, we know, we went out there, we saw what happened tonight. It didn't go the way we wanted it to go, but we can't sit here and dwell on it. We uh, understand what happened. We got to go back, look at the drawing board, do it, note, learn everything that we messed up, and we just got to get better. Chris? Yeah, it was everything we expected it to be. We knew it was going to come into a hostile environment. They um, they did that. They came in. Their fans were they um, they were very loud. They did did what they was going to do, and we just didn't come out the way we wanted to today. Uh, it, it, it wasn't really just frustrating because we know we've always talked about just pulling each other, having each other's back. So we know when offense isn't clicking, defense needs to click. And we just wasn't really able to do that today or vice versa. And we know that we're going to get back and we're just going to continue to come closer and just build, build this thing as a brotherhood. And we just know we got, we got each other back all the time. Patrick. Yeah, we um we gonna come in. We gonna continue to do what we do every week. We can't change routines. We got to come in, work, get better, watch the film, and then just continuing to. We gotta let that be. We just gotta continue to play the next game, play the next week, and just keep handling business from here on out, and just let the chips fall where they fall. Joe. Oh, it was really it, it was a uh, real just good environment. Like 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 I said, you we expected it to be that way, but it was just a real good environment. You see uh, the difference from just us being on defense just to how quiet it is for their offense rather than us being at home. So just little things like that, noticing it, but we we expected it to be that loud and we just came in, we didn't get the job done today. Time for one or two more for Amari West. Getting off the field on third down was tough at times, and they just kind of, if they needed six, they got seven, they needed seven, they got eight. How frustrating or demoralizing is that as a defense when they put some of those, like, eight minute drives mm -hmm. That's something we just really, um, we've been working on a lot since the offseason up till now. We want to get off the field on third down, and that's something that we wasn't able to do tonight. And we, um, we I'm pretty sure we'll go back, watch the film. we watch the film tomorrow. Some players will watch it tomorrow. Some will watch it Monday when we all do. But we'll just go back and we'll see that. And we and probably it's going to be a lot of the stuff that we did to hurt ourselves rather than uh, uh, otherwise. So we just got to continue to just grow and get better as a team.